Hey everybody, Canadian Gamer coming to you guys with a brief video. So today we will be showing off one of my battles. Now, for some reason, we're on the on the other side, and yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. But now, what happened is I decided to make an entirely Gen Five team. Now, on Pokemon Sun and Moon, I am working on doing a bunch of Generation teams. Uh, generation. Uh, five and six of the ones I'm currently working on this team I have a few of the Pokemon uh, just going over them I have Chimes the Sigilith with Life Orb I have uh, Guacamole he, you know Guacamole because it's spelled mole uh, the Excadrill with Air Balloon I have Pringles the Jellicent with Leftovers, I have the Choice Scarf Hydreigon named Solus, the Rocky Helmet Ferrothorn named Metath uh, Metagrass, and then Cla or It, pardon me, I, was, I always call him Clownface because of other YouTubers, but It, the Conkelder. Now, Conkelder, I don't actually have yet. Uh, everyone else I technically have for my team. So anyways, let's get into it. So the battle was looking rough for me, but then I totally pulled through. So, hang on, it's gonna be a little loud here because they said no music, but whatever. So anyways, I swap out into Metagrass, you know, expecting it to be gold or something. I could have swapped into x but I'm like, that's too obvious. But then what happened is I, I used Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock actually did come in handy for this, you know, battle. Let's just turn off the music. So then, anyways, he goes for the Fire Blast. I didn't realize that they still run the mix set, so I'm like, okay. Send out Pringles. Pringles then goes for the Will-O-Wisp because anything gets burned. Chansey has Serene Grace, so anytime she swaps out, she then loses her status ailment. Which is, which is, okay, I guess. So then I swap out into it because I'm like, well, guess what? You're, you're a normal type. Well, then I'm like, okay, Poison isn't the worst thing in the world. I do get the Guts Boost since I am a Flame Orb. Natural Cure activated, it leaves, it sends out Celesteela, I go for the knockoff to then knock off the Celesteela's leftovers, which is a great play. This is where it kind of got rough for me and I thought I was going to lose, because then he Leech Seeds and then I go for a Drain Punch, but the Drain Punch doesn't quite kill, and then he is able to sat some uh, life back from the Leech Seed, and now I'm starting to take some damage. He goes for the Protect just to stall out, he's going to gain some more HP from his darn le uh, leech seed and i'm gonna lose some more toxic damage bringing me down to 34 so i'm like oh i don't have much left fails the second protect out i'd be po'd if you freaking got that i hate double protect scum and then so okay i'm like oh god i'm down to like 20 20 percent all i can do this garchomp is literally go for the mock punch there's no reason to save it i guess there's like chancy but then i'm like i still have excadrill which is a physical attacker so then i'm like okay send out chimes he swaps out into Tapu Koko, and I'm like, okay, he's at 78%, I'm Life Orb, let's see how much a straight-up Psychic does. Oko's the Tapu Koko, and I'm like, holy shite, that did amazing. I'm like, Greninja, okay. He's gonna go for the Ice Beam, though I don't really have a safe swap in, so I'm gonna go to Solus. Well, I guess technically I had Jellicent, but I'm like, oh, Dark Pulse, yeah, so... He could have predicted that. I'm like, okay, Chansey, I'm just going to go for the Focus Blast. Focus Blast does literally nothing because Chansey is a fat mother foger. And then it's like, okay, Guacamole, get out here. And it's probably going to go for like... Okay, I, I was expecting a Seismic Toss, but I went for Salt Boil, which is... I only do 38% there. And then this is interesting because then I do... I believe this is a non-crit. No, actually, no, it was a crit. It was a crit. I didn't see crit when I was playing, and I'm like, how the heck did I win? That crit literally probably won me the game, because then Jirashi's like, Fire Punch doesn't get the burn with its freaking um, ability, and I'm like, okay, sweet. I'm fine, I'm fine. Greninja, Greninja's just gonna finish me off, and I'm like, okay, let him let him finish me off. I just went for Iron Head just in case he went for Ice Beam, predicting one of my other Pokemon, you know, like Hydreigon. But then it's like, you still kill me. So then I'm Pringles, and I'm like, okay. So he goes for Dark Pulse, and I'm like, okay. Okay, don't flinch, and I don't get the flinch, I get the Will-O-Wisp off, and you're probably like, Will-O-Wisp isn't that useful, dude, why did you use that? Well, and then I'm like, okay, I can just stall it out, stall out some damage with recovery, as long as I don't get flinch. Don't get flinch, and I'm like, yes. So then I just keep doing this for a little while, back and forth, he gets me down again. I'm technically getting higher in HP every time I'm able to get off a recovery in lefties. 
because you gain 6% with lefties, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And then I just keep going and going and going until eventually I'm like, you know what? I'm at max. He's going to get me down to the bare minimum that he can do. Uh, I'm going to go for the skull to get off some more damage, which is perfect. So then I knock him down to 15. Now, this is where it gets a little salty, but thank God I lowered him enough. So he gets off the Dark Pulse. I flinch. Uh, then I heal up. He gets hurt by the burn, but since burn is so bad in this generation, it doesn't finish him off. Then he gets the Dark Pulse off. I faint. But then he's going to faint to his burn. So now it's 2v1. My Sigilith and my Hydreigon versus his Garchomp. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm Choice Scarfed as long as I don't miss this. I know for a fact that I'll get the Guaranteed KO here. And I do get the Guaranteed KO by taking down the Garchomp with my freaking Draco Meteor. So that was an epic battle. Um, I will be doing Wi-Fi battles, hopefully, for you guys when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon comes out. So if you guys like this battle, uh, you know, please leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for another video, probably. See you guys.